hey y'all, yeah, it's Will here again. Um, so I decided I'm not gonna go running today because um, my shins, I was having some shin splints that were hurting a lot more yesterday. Um, they're doing a little bit better today, but I'm gonna let them recover one more day and then I'll do um, a running, I'll do running tomorrow. But I still did wanna do something. Um, so, we're going to do the basic core exercise. Um, I'm going to leave the shoulders off today, but then we're going to do some just more stretches that you can do. And a little meditation thing. So, we'll get right to this. So, like we were doing before, um, we're going to do the ball rolls. All right, so... Um, so again, we're gonna come out, and then come back in. If you really want to get an even more stretch, you can come down here first, and then up. And yeah, it just flexes out your back more. Okay, so we'll do that. Now we're gonna do the back one. So remember, with this one, you're trying to get your lower back and your butt activated as much as possible. Just gonna back them up. And I like to put my hands here, not for support, but to help me to kind of have more awareness of what's going on with my body. So they're just there to for for touch, not for holding. And with this, you also don't want to be like rolling out this way, like rolling on the ball. The ball is just there for support. You want to try and make this as much of a straight up and down motion as possible. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now for stretches, we're gonna do the right and left legs out. And with these, really, it's not about reaching your toes or anything with your hands. It's more, if you wanna get like a good solid stretch in the middle, like it throughout the whole um, um, hamstring, you want to get your torso so that you're in line with your chest with your your chest is straight in line with your leg so that your shoulders are both trying to reach the same now there's other turning your leg and doing other things there's different parts to stretch but if you really want to get that flexibility you need to get that core part and turning to the side isn't going to do that you need to stay shoulders on it Um, well, and something that I want to kind of mention is I'm really trying, like with working out, 
I'm really trying not to worry about losing weight because that's very ambiguous and has a lot of negative connotations and it's stressful. It's like, oh, my weight went up. Like, no, you don't want that. Um, what I am trying to do is I want to I want to feel healthier and I would like this to be gone. <laughs> But it's not about the weight. It's about do I have more core strength? Is the bulk gone? And stuff like that. So I do keep track of the weight, but that is not what I'm focusing on. Um, otherwise, you can get depressed and lose motivation if you go up a couple pounds, which I just did. <laughs> so I'm going to not focus on that. So currently right now, the scale says I'm 305, which it's still a lot better than I was, but it went up um, five pounds. So I'm going to work on this. Okay, so now we're going to go out to the center. And this will get really like the inside and also your lower back. And a lot of these are really nice too, when if you can do some partner stretches and... That way you're not using your muscles to like fight. You can just kind of relax and have someone else push you a little bit further. Don't go too far. It can, you can get injured, but make sure that you take things slow and listen to your body. That's what a lot of this is about. Listening to your body. Okay. So now, um, because we did that ab workout, we're going to do a cobra stretch. So you're just going to come down. Kind of like you're in a push-up position, sorry. And then you're just going to curl back. And you're going to try and keep your, your waist touching the ground while you curl. That way you're actually stretching your abs as much as possible. Because if I bring it up here, then that just took away a lot of the stretch. And then I like to come back the other way and just kind of reverse cobra and try to get your back stretched. Okay. Haven't done this in a while, but um, we're going to do side splits. <laughs> now, with side splits, don't push yourself too far. I mean, you can get a, cer a certain distance, but yeah, try not to do it too much. And if you aren't comfortable doing a full side split, just stitch, stick one leg out like this and kind of press down into it so that you can get this stretch down here. Um, but also, I should probably take my socks off because it's really easy to slip doing these. So I'm going to go down. And again, there's a couple different types of side splits you can do. This one's just a basic. Um, but you can do things like you can turn your feet up, which stretches other things. <laughs> um, but then I also like to switch this into front splits. So you bring one leg down, stay where you're at. This is kind of an advanced maneuver. So don't, if you can't go this far, or, but by switching just come up and then go down slowly as far as you can go but for this you want one hand on either side of your leg so again you're getting that full thing not just over here which it's mostly just stretching on the inside you want this and then we're going to come back to the center be careful do this slow and slowly rotate your hips especially if you're new to it because you will feel some discomfort and you can pop your hip out if you go fast and you're not ready for it. So here we go.
Oh, and then something I'm gonna do this for a shoulder stretch. I'm gonna come back and just let my head go back and try to have my shoulders just touching the ground, palms out. And this will really get right here. And at the same time, you can be using this to stretch your quads too. But yeah. So, I will do a butterfly stretch. There's a couple different ways to do this. I'll go here. But, big thing, don't try to force your legs all the way down to the ground. That's just uncomfortable, and just let the, your legs go down gradually as you get more flexible. Also, there are advantages to being like super in, which gets a lot more of in here. But then there's also the coming out here, which if you bring your legs out more and can go down, this is getting more of your lower back stretched, which can feel amazing. So you just kind of hold on, put your elbows inside, and just go down as far as you can. And yeah, you know, yesterday I went to the chiropractor and got my back. Um, got it finally put back in. It'd been several months. I just didn't want to pop. And there's like these little plate things like on either side of your spine that kind of hook in like this. But one of them was out. Instead of being touching the pads, they were kind of clicked around here. And just been trying to get that to go back in. And finally it went back in. It was like, oh. It was a loud pop too. <laughs> it was just like, yep, that was it. <laughs> Give me a second before I move. <laughs> But, yeah. But, yeah, so, I think that's about it for today. Um, but, um, tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to do, do the running again. Just my shins. I was having some pretty bad shin splints even the day of. So I want to let those heal up first one more day before I try running again. But... Yeah, um, um, thanks for joining me today. Um, if you wouldn't mind sharing this with people and getting more people to subscribe to my channel, um, I am going to be making other videos. Um, and if there's anything you guys would like to know about more, um, just any topic in particular, I do good when I have a direction. Uh, right now it's kind of like I'm trying to figure out exactly what my direction is at the moment, but I would really like to help out where I can. So if you have any ideas, let me know. And I just want to say, I hope you guys, I honestly hope that you are all doing well. And I've been kind of struggling with my anxiety lately and it's not the easiest thing to do, which it's part of it's another reason why I'm also making these videos is because it does help me to talk with people. And I know that we may not personally have a connection or anything, but I still I still want you to know that I do care about you. And if there were a million of me, I would be there to help everyone out. But as since there's only one, I try to help out people as I have the ability and as they come into my life so that I mean, there's also the whole kind of pay it forward thing of it's not just about how many people I can reach it's about how many people other people can reach as well that I help and that helps out knowing that like I'm reaching more people so um I don't know. I guess I'd kind of like to get this channel up to a million or more viewer subscribers or something, but that's not the main priority. I want to make sure that you guys are doing okay and you're getting some health the way you need it. So that's again part of why I'm sharing all this stuff. Sorry, right, and I've been talking a lot, so 
<laughs> I'll cut it there. Anyway, you know, I just want to say I care about you guys. I hope this is hel is helping. And thanks for watching and go and going on this journey with me. <laughs> thanks. And if you ever need anything, let me know. But yeah, I'll post. I'll probably do another post tomorrow because I'm gonna do the running. But yeah. I'll catch you guys later.